Hey guys, I'm David and welcome to the channel and today I have another Nendoroid figure to review for you guys. This is my second Dr. Stone figure and this time it's the Nendoroid of Senku. Ever since they announced this figure, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it so I pre-ordered this one as soon as it was uh, announced and finally it's here. Can't wait to see what he looks like. So let's unbox the figure. Okay, so this is the box of Senku. And let's take a look at the front. Yeah, you can see, of course, the window where you can see the figure. It's so awesome. Anyway, you'll see the Dr. Stone logo, the Good Smile Company logo over there. And of course, a photo of Senku, the authenticity sticker, and the product number, which is 1262. Uh, this is the side, so you can see that he is holding a cotton candy there of course another face plate this is the back another authenticity sticker there you go and more photos of Sanku it's the other side the bottom of course it has that one circle security seal and this is the top it also has that security seal so let's open the box Okay, first, we'll get the instructions. Okay, it's too thin, so I'll read that later. And here first, we'll have just one layer of accessories plus some in that back. We won't get any background art here but i really like the box art okay let's take a look at the stuff underneath first so of course it has this low tack tape holding the plastic of accessories so we'll get okay this one actually looks like cotton of some sort or fiber that you can use for his i'm guessing cotton candy and let's see we'll get our usual regular nendoroid stand so i just noticed that this is the translucent one the matte finished one okay and of course an extra joint and of course an extra joint with a good good smile company logo there and the standard Nendoroid base. So let's open the top. Okay, there we go. So there's this protective film for the face plates. Let's look at the face plates first. It has this um, funny looking mischievous um, expression face plate i think this is my i like this very much i i like this one so far and we'll get a very serious expression uh face plate and let's see the smaller items here we'll get the jar uh, hmm, I think this is the potion that the do that, that he created in the show. We we'll get a flask of water. It's actually clear. It looks very nice. It actually looks like glass, but plastic. We we'll get this stick, wooden stick. Actually, looks like wood. And uh, we'll have a uh, finger pointing hand and one hand that's uh, I think this is a pinky. Okay, so we'll get that, and of course, we'll get the figure. So, this is what we get from the box. So, let's take a closer look at the figure. Okay, so this is Senku. Okay, so this is the figure. 
and it comes in this plastic bag so this is the first time that I've seen that the Nenderite is in a full plastic bag a protector so let me remove that he has these um, protector on his face plate as always so let's This is the seam of the face of the, the hair, so you can take out the face plate. So let me remove that a bit. Okay, so that is one piece going to his neck. There we go. Let's remove the one in the body. Okay, this is the first. So we have to remove the arms. Oops. and the one on the waist you have to pretty much disassemble the entire figure to remove all the plastic protectors let me put him back first okay, so let's take a closer look at the head the head and the face plate of this Senkun Enderoid just looks perfect. They couldn't have made it any better. They really made uh, Senku into a beautiful Nendoroid figure. So they really captured his likeness very well. As you can see, the first thing that you'll see on this figure is how awesome the paint of his head. So first the sculpt looks fantastic so look at that detail and they used uh, different shades of green paint on this figure so you can see uh, all more a lighter shade of green there going to white and then going to the darker greens on the tip of his head and they even made the speaks of his hair here in front of his face uh, similar gradient tones as the one on the top the default face plate looks really nice so you can see his red eyes there it's just of course it's perfect and he has this uh, nice grin to it and he has those cracks on his face and it's not a super posable figure and that's to be expected because he's not like a martial artist and he doesn't have a lot of poses from the show because he uses his brain and as you can see, he has this uh, double jointed shoulder joint, this single joint elbow. So there you go. So you can see there. And you can rotate his wrist here. He has some wrist rotation similar to the other side. He also has those. He, ha he doesn't have the torso twist motion, but of course, that's to be expected also so you can rotate his waist and he has this he has two belts one is for his clothes and the other one is to hold his gear so he has this pouch here that has like uh, wood in it and then two more pouches at side there and his clothes looks uh, very nice it has some gradient to it to show some depth on his clothes and you, of course you can see the E equals MC squared near the collar and of course those are the stitching of his clothes and the two layers of his uh, clothes he's wearing white underpants and he doesn't have any knee joints so he's probably just going to be you can only stand him so you'll have very limited poses for this figure and it doesn't come with other leg pieces but it's okay so his shoes in android form looks very nice you can even see the stitches there the small stitches there and the bow at the back i'll show you what he looks like in different face plates as far as the figure is concerned the assembly of the accessories uh, on this one, it's pretty straightforward. 
uh, you can read the instructions if you need help on assembling them but actually you don't need to read the instructions because it's so easy to assemble so there you go i think this is my favorite face plate he has this um, mischievous uh expression here and he looks very funny you can actually put the other hand the hand that's uh i'll put it here so he, you can pose him as if he is you can pose him in a way that he's actually scratching his ear <laughs> It looks very funny. This is my favorite faceplate on uh, this figure. So I'll probably display him uh, using this. So it also comes with... Um, also comes in different... Like, like I showed you earlier. So this is the jar of stone. Formula. And a flask of medicine. So you can actually put that on the other hand on this one so it has that peg so you just can you can put it there quite easily and like i showed you before it comes with a cotton and you can put it on the stick so he can actually hold it there it's going to look like that so anyway so now i'll show you possible poses of this figure and after that i'll give you my final thoughts So overall, this is one fantastic Dr. Stone figure. I really love this Nendoroid. I'm a big fan of Dr. Stone and I'm very happy on how the Good Smile Company created the Nendoroid form of Senku. I just wish that they included more accessories on this figure like maybe a stone bird or maybe a chemistry set, I don't know. But at least the set comes with some very iconic pieces that you'll remember from the show. Of course, the figure is priced really well. So I really can't complain that much. It's not as expensive as other Nendoroid figures. So you really get what you pay for on this one. So if you're a fan of the anime and manga of Dr. Stone, I highly recommend this Senku Nendoroid figure. So I got this figure at Mainstream Manila. Thank you very much Mainstream Manila. I bought this from them. I'll put the link down in the description box below on how you can get this amazing figure. So what do you think of this Senku Nendoroid figure? Let me know at the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to support the channel, please subscribe and share this video to your friends. You can check out our website at outofboxcollector.com and follow our Instagram and Facebook if you want to see more of our collection. That's it for me. I'm David once again. And always remember to unbox your toys.